Happy Thursday, everybody. Doing my makeup because I need to get a couple talking shots, talking to the camera for the video that I'm posting on Saturday. Today is a major scramble to finish editing day. I need to finish editing the ARC boat video. Okay, everything's going on do not disturb. I'm not even doing the Pomodoro technique. Like I just need to, this dang video, um, maybe I will do Pomodoro. Okay, finish this thing, oh my God. So I have one last video shot I need for this video and it's me swimming through the hot tub showing how it's like harder to move through water than air obviously and so like boats take more power to move than cars. Let's go do that. I guess I'll go in for like 20 minutes. I'll take a little break from the editing. Oh my gosh you guys. Okay I just got back to my apartment complex. This is kind of crazy. I live near a commercial building. From my unit, I can see the roof of a lot of different commercial buildings. And I noticed a couple days ago, like someone had left some stuff on the roof of one of these buildings. Like it just looked like a bunch of bags. It's been there for two days and it hasn't moved at all. And um, now I, I literally can see from my apartment that there's a fire truck, there's a bunch of firefighters, and I saw them nudge the stuff. I'm pretty sure that is a person and they haven't moved in two days. This is kind of crazy. I can't look away. No, I hope that there's no way to make this situation seem positive. It's just sad. It's really sad. Okay. Which are great boats for going two or three miles an hour. <laughs> okay, I don't know if I'm gonna even put any of this in the vlog. Me as I'm making my dinner, but I just can't believe what I saw today from my apartment view and just yeah i don't know it's just really really sad i'm like my heart is beating really fast right now like that was actually i'm so thankful that we have people like firefighters and police men and women who are honestly so brave because i'm over here really disturbed seeing this from like hundreds of feet away and um i am so creeped out and i feel like a bad person honestly because i noticed something on that roof i noticed i took a photo of it on sunday because i was like that's weird there's not usually stuff on that roof and i looked back at my phone it was on sunday so it has been sunday monday tuesday wednesday three five whole days all right you guys already know where I'm going when I got the skirt on, but thank God, I feel like I need to get my mind off of what I just saw. Um, um love this for me so much. Got the projector going. I'm gonna go to sleep soon. Take a magnesium supplement. So we are doing a filling over here, or redoing a filling, because over time they get like damaged, right? Well, you, yeah. yeah. I mean, I think it, it was just difficult for you to floss, and so like bacteria yeah. kind of got in there. Yeah, there's like kind of a gap in there, but um, we just did the numbing, and that's why it's a little nerve wracking, right? He has this <laughs> machine that does it. For, it does the numbing for you. So this is it over here. Okay, so we have this machine, and normally we use like a big syringe. Yeah. Um, and as dentists, we don't know how fast or how slow we're actually injecting, mm -hmm. and the reason why you feel that pain is because most of the time we're injecting too fast. So this machine basically takes all of that guessing work out of it and it injects for me so you feel the initial prick mm -hmm. and then you don't feel anything after we call it the wand oh wow yeah literally it's called like sta but like we yeah. call it the wand i don't know it didn't hurt it didn't hurt you know i'm amazed at that <laughs> that was great i'm so numb right now but this chipotle has a drive through This is still pretty numb, so I'm trying to like carefully eat this chipotle slowly, not bite down too hard. No difficult for me. <laughs> I'm still kind of numb because I had him numb me a little extra. I always get nervous. I'm like, what if I feel it? So he did a little, a little extra. Um, so it's just lasts a little bit longer. But it's time for happy hour hits. You already know. I feel like I'm getting repetitive with the tennis content, but it's truly my favorite workout 
at the moment like I it's like how people go to Pilates like I tennis is my version of that okay, and having the rest of my Chipotle bowl this was like a solid bowl they gave me today this is just half of it like it was it was a, a lot okay just a little hot tub sesh Lauren is here because Hi. My apartment complex is hosting a paint and sip, yes. so we're gonna go do it, Two and then my favorite thing. we'll probably go in the hot tub again. So. Uh, yeah. Happy Saturday! It's about to be an eventful one, but it's super rainy out. It's like stormy, I guess, this whole weekend. But I'm getting ready to go get coffee with Humphrey Yang. He's in town. If you guys haven't seen his channel, you need to. I feel like if you like my content, you would probably like his as well. It's like personal finance related. Like, I think he was an accountant or something. And so he like, he really knows his shit, you know? And then we've got Carrot is throwing this like creator brunch with a company that I've actually been working with quite a bit called Rembrandt. So I wanna go and meet the people that work there. And then there's also a birthday in like the extended friend group. So I'll be going to that later. I'm gonna be out and about. Good thing I got a good night of sleep. <sighs> we'll see how much I remember to vlog today. I just set the main channel video live, so that is great. The vlog is going live in a little bit, so I feel like I'm on it this Saturday. That's my goal for every week, is to have a main channel video and a vlog go up. And I did it this week. It's so gross outside. I really need to clean my place, but I feel like I'm gonna be out and about all day. Maybe tomorrow will be for clean. Wearing this Fashion Pass sweater. I really like this black sweater. made a little TikTok too for Humphrey's TikTok, so you guys should go check it out. All right, we're going to the carrot brunch. We're a little late, whoops. Good morning, it is Sunday and we are going on a little brunch cruise. I'm doing an Instagram brand deal with a company called Get Your Guide, which is like tour, you can book tourist activities. Um, and so me and Lauren are gonna go on this little brunch cruise. It's actually um, like bottomless champagne and food. Although we went hard yesterday, so Sunday I wanna feel good tomorrow, you know? But I'll have one like for the shot and I don't know, I feel like literally one mimosa is fine. Like you don't really feel much from that, I think, um, but We've made it. <laughs> this area is so cute. And Lauren's finishing getting ready. We're on time today. We're proud of her. Broccoli. It's to be vegan. <laughs> Pretty good though. Oh, look at the seaweed helps make it kind of fishy. I just don't want broccoli. No? Okay, guys, I am back and wow, what a day. I feel like we woke up pretty early for a Sunday, so that was good. Um, Planta, the vegan sushi. I was so impressed. I would go back. I thought I would miss, you know, the fish because I do love fish, but they do a great job there and I will be back. This is really good. I use the InKind app too. They have it there. So I had some credits to redeem from when me and Sam had gone and from referring some of you guys to it. So shout out if you've used it. But yeah, if you guys haven't heard of it, it's basically this app where at certain restaurants you get $50 off if you spend 150. So if you go with a group, like you get, you know, free little bit. $50. It doesn't really make sense for two people because you probably won't hit $150. Um, but yeah, that's why I redeemed the credits because we spent like $85. So we didn't really need to do anything more than that. But it's pretty cool. I'll link it if you guys haven't seen it or I'll put my referral thing. If it's in your city, it's like in LA, New York, Austin, Dallas. No pressure, but I like it. I've been using it when I can. Okay, I gotta go walk to my car. I parked it at Lawrence and then... 
I'm back. Got my little workout in. That was nice. Now it's Sunday night. I'm gonna clean up my place. Set the 25 minute timer and see how much I can get done in that time. I feel like a lot. I can do a lot. Fridge cleaned out. Clean apartment. Got my rotisserie chicken and some quinoa. Let's watch something. Yeah, so I started watching um, Breakpoint while I was at uh, the dentist. So I'm gonna hop back into that. It's a documentary um, following like pro tennis players. Good morning. We're studying on this rainy day. doing a little more research for my video, watching videos about, this one says 63% of men under 30 are single. Like that's a lot. I had no idea. Okay. Uh, wanting to be in a long-term relation. Okay guys, I have written out all my research for the video, like the Shelby chat. I don't know what to call it, like the YouTubers quitting one, but this one is gonna be about the loneliness epidemic in America. I have like a lot of stats. I have like a good, like it's long. This video is gonna be long and now I'm just finding the content pieces that I wanna refer to and then I'm gonna film it. So I've been kind of working on this all week, just finding different studies, writing down my thoughts as I talk to people about it too. Um, but yeah, saved a bunch of TikToks. So this is my video setup. This is where I'll be for the next hour. I wanted it to be a cozy vibe. I want it to be more casual vibe, not a crazy setup. Just like we're sitting on the floor having a combo. I don't know, something about sitting on the floor just feels more casual than like the rest of it. And like candle going and some tea and just like cozy, you know? So I'm gonna make some tea actually. Okay, let's go record. We are more connected than ever and Americans are lonelier than ever. The US Surgeon General just announced that there is a loneliness epidemic happening in America. Okay, I just filmed. My back kind of hurts from sitting like uh, all weird for like- I need to import the footage. It's so rainy today. I'm feeling the going to a coffee shop to work out a vibe. I really think that sounds nice. But I'm gonna drive to it because it's actually raining a lot. God, editing this is gonna be crazy. Like, it's so much footage. <sighs> I hope people like it. I don't know, I still have imposter syndrome with these chatty vids. I'm like, do people care? I think it's interesting. Okay guys, I got a good amount of editing done. I was really in the flow state, it was great. Um, it's raining so hard um, that tennis was canceled. So I'm gonna take myself on a solo date to a movie. There's a new rom-com out called Anyone But You, that one with Glenn Powell and Sydney Sweeney. And it looks pretty good. It has good reviews and it's not like too long. I love a sub two hour movie. Like I don't wanna be in the theater for more than 90 minutes usually. I wanted to change into sweatpants for the movie. It's just more comfortable that way, you know? Um, I've never gone to a movie alone, but I've always thought that is like a great solo date, right? Because you're not talking during a movie. I bring my own little snacks with me too. Just make it a nice little evening. M movies now with tax, $17. Not even a recliner seat. <laughs> I'm not complaining, I'm just cracking up. I'm just cracking up. My last thing is smart sweets. Movie snacks but make it healthy all right workout done la is back to being its sunny self thank god i cannot take another day of rain I need a new foundation. Like, this is not my color. I've let myself get a little more pale, and I'm like, this is not, I need a more pale foundation. It's not so dark that you really, really notice, but I know, like, it'll work for now. I'll save it for, like, summer. So, today we are going to tour some places for sale here in LA. All of them are condos, and I'm going with my friend Jamie, who's a real estate agent. She's she's really my real estate agent if I find a place before I get my license, which I did get some questions about that. People are like, "Why not just wait till you get your license to buy a place?" And the thing is, when you 
honestly i'm just like if we find the right place in time it's it's worth it to me to just get it sooner because it's so rare for the perfect place to pop up one thing I've noticed and you guys feel free to comment please comment maybe I'll share it in the video I just noticed that a lot of people are waiting for the other shoe to drop with the housing market waiting for it to crash waiting for all this and that when in reality and I've talked about this before uh, a lot of people are getting gifts from their parents for the down payment and like that's why people can still afford stuff so it's like yes things are more unaffordable to most people but there's still enough people that can afford the absurd prices that kind of prop it up because they have generational wealth or they're dual income working in tech or whatever it is you know when you're not in that situation it's hard to even comprehend like who has the money for this but people actually do like a lot of boomers or even gen x who like i don't know i don't want to go too much into this but just comment if you if you have any thoughts on that okay i'm ready to go here's the outfit that i'm wearing because i hate all the jeans i have right now so i'm wearing these black more like flowy pants and this vince top so i don't know i feel like a little more on trend but I really need to like go shop for like two or three things to bring all my outfits together because I keep going in my closet and be like, oh, I'm missing the perfect pants. Anyway, let's go shoot. <laughs> Okay, got to the first place a little early so I can properly balance the Ronin before going in. Okay, it is calibrating. I've gotten really good at balancing this actually. Oh, have I? Almost done. It still confuses me a little bit. That first condo was pretty cool. Very doable for me. There's a hot, there's two hot tubs in the building. Walkable area. I don't know, look. It could be fun to renovate the bathrooms and the kitchen, but nothing is in terrible shape. Like I could also live in it for a year and be fine with it. Alright, I'm back. I just got the vlog up. Touring places and filming kind of took it out of me. It's just, you know, it's a lot of energy exertion to be driving around and filming. Like, it honestly is fun though. I'm not complaining. Like, it was fun. But now I'm like, whoa, I kind of need a second. I just had lunch. I'm gonna make some tea and like rest for a little bit. Start editing this stuff. And then I'm sure my energy will come back. There were some some cool places for sale i think though i don't know i kind of want to keep looking i liked that one condo but the thing was the loft was it's kind of cool but kind of weird very very hot up there it didn't seem like something you would ever actually use i have been editing for a little bit doing some email work stuff like that but i am just still drained so i'm gonna go in the hot tub for 20 minutes and while i'm in there i'm gonna study real estate exam stuff on my phone um because i feel this pressure to be productive still because it's 3 40 p.m it's still like i should be but i'm getting coffee with someone by coffee i always mean if it's like 5 p.m i'm not actually getting coffee i'm getting like a chai latte or tea or kombucha or something like that but i need to like wake up so the hot tub always wakes me up it's amazing so we're gonna go in for a little bit And now I'm gonna go get coffee with someone I connected with on Instagram who's also an Airbnb host here in LA. She actually did the most stunning renovation. I'll link her Airbnb. Um, she's gonna show it to me. I just am like, I would love to learn how the process went for her renovating here in LA because you know it can be very different depending on where you are with contractors and such. And you guys know this is a goal of mine, something I want to do. So we're, yeah, we're gonna meet up and I'm excited to see hers. It looks so cool. I'll show it if I can in the vlog. But the style of it was like, oh my gosh, that is what I want a place to look like. Touring houses today actually really motivated me to study more real estate stuff because I just love touring places. Like I love looking at real estate. I always have.
I'm back home from my failed day of vlogging. I did not vlog at all, mostly because I feel so sick now. I was gonna go to tennis. They literally gave me a free class, like as a partnership thing. I was so hyped about it and you know, you know it's bad, you guys, if I'm not going to tennis because, because I look forward to that usually. And I seriously feel like I have a fever and like body aches. And I just, I'm like, why? Why? Like I was just sick on Christmas. That wasn't even a month ago. Sorry, I'm getting mad, but I just really am at the point where I'm like, I am pissed about it. Obviously I do need to go to a specialist now. My throat hurts so bad. I can't even believe it. I really thought, you know, oh, I'm better now. I'm better this time now. It wasn't 